why is it that I can have four shelves full of tarantulas without a flinch? But as soon as I find a spider in my dressing gown, a proper freak. Hello and welcome back to Bug Grounds. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm gonna tell you a little bit of a story today. So if you've been following me, if you know me, you know how much I love my dressing gown, right? And I have this little area downstairs in my house. It's a coat rack, it's where you hang your coats. But because it's right by the bathroom and it's kind of like in between where I'd go make a brew in the morning or sit in my front room, it's right there for me to just pick up every morning or evening or whatever on the coat rack, right? Yeah, I'm one of them weirdos that hangs his dressing gown on a coat rack. So I'd got home from picking up my daughter from school, got her sorted and thought, right, time to wear the gown, right? So I go over to the coat rack and I have noticed some webbing there the past few days and it didn't really phase me, just like whatever. But I picked up the dressing gown this time and out dropped this spider, right? I don't have the footage of when that happened because I, I don't record my entire life, right? But this is where it was. I picked it up like this, the spider dropped down and it ran up and in behind some other coats. I instantly like dropped my dressing gown. Like it was the, it was just the shock of this, this freaking spider just running out, right? So I'm not all brave, <laughs> you know, if something shocks me and startles me, you know, I'm just like everybody else, Ugh, spider, you know? But um, once I'd realized what it was, it, it wasn't really a problem. But one thing you always have handy when you're an invert keeper, just to hand randomly anywhere in your house is a catch cup like this. So I legged it, caught my catch cup. It took a good five minutes to find the spider again because it was hiding inside a coat at this point. And I caught her, she is just here. So let's take a look at this girl in a bit more detail and then I'll tell you what we've got planned for her. So I've got to be careful not to startle her because although you can't see very well, she's actually built the web right to the top, meaning if she wants to run, she will get out and I probably won't be able to snatch her quick enough. Hmm, we're not getting a very good shot here. Let's see if the macro lens will help. That's a bit cooler, right? Not the most perfect of shots, but you can see the sort of shape of her curled up there and the eyes. I'm sorry, it's really wobbly on a macro lens. You see the hairs on the legs as well. That's pretty cool, right? So, what do we do with her then? Well, as you know, we've just had round fab and I've got a ton of empty enclosures right now because I haven't started all the rehousings yet. So I reckon we get one of these mantis den tubes right here. We design a little penthouse suite for our girl, pop her in, keep her for a couple of weeks and then set her free as I've done with various other house spiders here in the realm. Let's see what I can come up with for her. So first things first, let's put in some substrate. Now the great thing about the fact that this is an animal living in the UK is I can use any branches and bits from outside without having to worry too much about keeping them clean. So, see what we can come up with here. Okay, so there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. So we've got some mossy parts, some old bit of fern there, some bark, and that's about it. Now I left this bit open, hoping that she might kind of start building her web around in here, so you can kind of have a look at that and we'd still be able to kind of spot her inside her home there. Or alternatively, she might make it up on the higher levels with that branch and fern piece there. Who knows? That's the fun thing though, isn't it? About housing an animal like that. Who knows where they're gonna choose to make their home. Sometimes we can kind of predict it and other times they really do shock us as keepers. So I think we should get the spider in now, don't you? Okay, so our girl is wriggling around down there. 
Let's see if we can get her to come on in here. Oops. And she's in. Just like so. Want to take a closer look? Yeah, you do. So, there she is, up in the corner. Got the light directly on her. I've always admired the patterning on the abdomen of these spiders. I think that they're really, really pretty, really, really interesting. Kind of almost reminds me of a villicella, actually, the um, little African tarantula. Hmm, maybe, maybe not. I don't know, you tell me what you think. <laughs> oh, just having an explore now. Hello. Let's not let you escape, eh? <laughs> help me, help me, she says. So I'm attempting a macro shot again for you. She's even got hairs underneath her, look. It's like having a hairy belly. Now I'm freehanding this, so I'm sorry about the wobbles. But I've never done a house spider under macro before. And I didn't realise quite how hairy they actually were. Look at that. Long, long legs. There we go, that's a better shot, isn't it? Still a little bit blurred, but a lot better. There. So even on the carapace there, on the head part, it even has that similar patterning as it does on the abdomen, which is really, really cool. Oh, we managed to get a bit more of a zoom. I love playing with this macro lens, I absolutely adore it. I'm not very good with it, but I enjoy it. So I tried to take macro from this side. You can even see the detail of the vent holes where they've been kind of, what, laser cut? Pretty cool. But I just wanted to look at the underside of her as well. Pretty funky. Yes, we've got some face. Oh, not perfectly lit though. Isn't that creepy as hell? Look at the stance that they go in. All leg, creepy face. These guys proper freak me out more than uh, tarantulas do. They're like under the huntsman category in my eyes. They're not huntsmen, but you know, the, the creep factor. There we go, better lit that time. Still can't quite get the angle I want. It's just a bundle ball of mess, isn't it? It's like a ball of yarn, but a living one. So as I put my camera back, she actually did run into the hide piece, but then not for long because she ran up, round, and she's now sitting on the top up here. In typical Bug Realms fashion, the animal likes to do a little bit of walkies as soon as the camera stopped filming. So anyway, I think the best course of action to be able to see this girl and how she develops is for me to time jump this. So we're going to give it, what, maybe three days? Let's see how a house spider adapts and builds a web within a three day period. And maybe, just maybe if we're lucky, we might even manage to capture a feeding clip too. So. In three days time, in three, two, one. And I'm back. Unfortunately, this is gonna be a really boring end to the video. So, she has done some webbing, which I'll show you in a moment, but not a huge amount. Um, I was really hyped about feeding her because her abdomen is not too big and it was just a complete fail. So <laughs> I've like recorded this ending part about five different times now. We've tried uh, a, anything from a very small mini mealworm up to like sub-adult sub red runner size 
um, that was really kicking and caught on the web and giving the perfect vibrations and she just was not interested in eating at all. So I'm really, really sorry and she's actually hidden just in her hide now, although that's not where she has been residing for most of the time. I think the only thing we can really do now, guys, is for me to show you um, a few of the web structures she has made and we'll just have to call it there. Sometimes videos just don't go the way you want. And I forgot to add as well, it's not even day three. I tried on day three, I tried on day four. It is now day five. What can you do, eh? Let's have a look though. So you can already see some of the web structure strands just here. So it's not actually a huge amount of work done by our girl. You can see she's connected the back of the cork bark along the moss up until the taller retreat. Now she resides most of the time up here. I think she's literally just gone into the hide for this attempted feeding. Um, because I probably disturbed her a little bit moving the enclosure around. But that is literally it. All that hype for a little bit of silk. Real shame. Now I hope you folks are not too disappointed. I hope the rest of the video is good enough. We've got some macro footage and things. And there's a big thing going on with content creation where people are like, I won't put a video out unless it's perfect. That's not me. Um, I film what I want to film and it doesn't always go perfect and I like you guys to be able to see that. I like you to be able to see that I am human. I am not uh, a, a YouTube superstar who has perfection in everything. I want to show you how it goes. Things don't always work. But at least you're on the journey with me. You know, we found a house spider, we housed it, we got a good look at it and you were a part of that with me and that's what I appreciate. So I'm going to call it an end guys, I'll see you in the next one, take care, bye bye.